Welcome back to Learning Point with DK and today I am going to teach you chapter 5. This is the 100 dresses part 1 and part 2. This is written by El Basur Esther. So, you see in this chapter we have major characters Varga, Petronsky, Peggy, Meiji. And see Peggy and Meiji both are very close friends and they used to wait for Varga Petrovsky and uh, you see Vanda Petrovsky, she belonged to Poland and she migrated to America and that time Peggy Meiji, those who were the Native Americans and that's why they used to make laugh of Vanda Petrovsky because her name was very big one, unusual name and uh, this is in the beginning that Wanda Petrovsky did not come, nobody noticed, that was Monday. Then the next Tuesday she did not come. Then on third day, that is the Wednesday, and Peggy and Mady both outside of the school waited for her to make fun of her, but she did not come. And that actually made Peggy and Mady realized that she was not coming nowadays to school. Then See what happened. This is now going to back. This is what room number 13 in the school uh, where there in the last seat, next to the last seat, Wanda Pentoski used to sit and she did not smile even sometimes. She had a crook smile on her face. She was very much quiet and uh, that is what in the last bench there were some students, boys, they used to stamp on the floor, made noise there and they used to get very low, that is less marks in the exams. Wanda Petrovsky was not like them and that was not the reason that she used to sit there. But nobody wanted to talk to her, nobody wanted to meet and to uh, make friendship with her. She was just like an isolated being in the class, even in the school. The students, they would wait for her to come in the morning time to make uh, her a laughing stock or in the lunch break time when she was standing outside and the students were playing and then making laugh of her. This is what the story going on there. Then one time what happened to Peggy, actually she is a very... Uh, very beautiful and uh, most wanted uh, girl in the school. So that is why uh, Mary did not want to lose the friendship of her. And because of that, somewhere she did not say anything to Peggy. Because Peggy was a girl who started laughing at Wanda Pentoski. She one day asked her, Ki, how many dresses do you have? And she knew that she had only one dress that she used to come every day to put on. That was a faded blue dress. And because of that, here, Wanda Petrovsky should feel ashamed. And that was the desire of Wanda, uh, Peggy. But this didn't happen. See, very straightforwardly, what she said, Wanda, Wanda said that I had 100 beautiful dresses. Then see how many dresses? Undress, all are uh, lined up, yes, all are lined up, all are colorful, yes, all are colorful, all are of velvet, yes, all are velvet, all are made of silk, yes, all are made of silk with different colors and all are lined up in my closet at home. This is told by Wanda Pentoski. Then the, all the friend circle of Peggy beside Mehdi, they laughed at her when she moved away from there. This is why because they knew that she could not have so many colorful dresses. If she had, she would not have worn this blue faded dress every day to come to school. And she belonged to a poor family. She lived the place that was called Bogen Heights which was known for the poor people who used to live there. So one day there was a competition in the school. For the girls, it was the designing of the dresses and for the boys, that the designing of the boats. So when it happened, then Wanda won that competition. 
and the, from the boy side jack bagels name a boy who won the competition so in the beginning medi she had the idea ki peggy won't uh, sorry peggy will win the competition because she was most wanted most beautiful loving to everyone and closest friend to medi so she had the idea ki peggy is going to win she had also good, uh, good hand at drawing so she could uh, have some drawing of the stars and the fashionable clothes and so on and then she will ultimately win but did not happy like that and what they thought just opposite happened and then wanda petroski she won how she won because when that was the exhibition of the dresses and they went inside the room they found ki there were so hundred dresses all with the different colors different designs and very beautiful the judges said when the paper was taken out and then the name was read the miss mason mas or mason she said that the winner is wanda petroski unfortunately unfortunately or luckily she was not among them but uh, her one dress was enough to make her a winner that was the judgment passed by the judges and then peggy and medi they felt that they made the mistake then uh, this is the one part where there this happened the next part what happened ki father the father of wanda petroski she wrote a letter to miss mason informing them that ki they are leaving this city going to a big city where there nobody would laugh at them because of the name which is according to the school children was unusual you see so wanda petroski and then uh, her brother and the, her father everyone left that school uh, that that place and went to the other city and then miss mason when she read this she said to the children ki i think and i am right ki you all have not done this is intentionally and you would not hurt anyone intentionally with this thought i am asking everyone ki you should have not done this type of behavior and you could not laugh at someone because of his or her name which is unusual and that you don't like then everybody was very quiet and silent and uh, and uh, then medi was somewhere very in restlessness she was not feeling good she felt very bad she started seeing the dreams and she started shouting not uh, not don't make her laugh and so on because she knew ki she had never ever laughed at wanda uh, uh, petroski when she was laughed at when wanda petroski was laughed at she did not laugh however she was feeling she could have stopped peggy but she did not do that and somewhere she felt she was also guilty like peggy and the rest they were she had the only feeling that time she did not say if she would say then the peggy and the rest of the children would make her another target because she was also poor but luckily her name was not unusual medi name was not unusual medi did not live in bogins heights and but it was fact from peggy's mother she was given hands me out that is the second hand clothes she used to put on and this is what here she had the thought ki if she would tell her not to do that with wanda petros it may be possible ki wanda petros ki instead of her she would be another target and she would be called by peggy ki from where you have got this dress and this is how she will be another laughing stock that was the problem for medi and she did not go against peggy who was the very beautiful the most loving girl in the school to lose her friendship but now she was very much fretting feeling very bad for wanda petroski and she went to peggy and asked her to go to bogin side both together went there kiss maybe potter she would be there they try to look every each and every place they could not find out so they returned wrote a letter handed over one person with that address where she was gone she was taken to there after some day one uh, a letter came in which it was mentioned ki there were the green and blue dress and the those dresses should be given to from uh, wanda side to peggy and uh, medi 
they took their dresses they went back to their houses now here a meti uh, looked at the dress and started seeing ki she could see her face in the dress the way it was made then she found ki somewhere vanda petroski did not uh, hate her and that is why it was made like that way where there in the cloth in the dress she could see her face then she rushed to a uh, peggy's house and asked her then she also took out that dress her dress and saw ki peggy could also see her own face in that dress this is why both of them got to know ki vanda she was not very very much angry rather she had some corner and that is loving corner heart in her own heart and with this note this whole chapter both part 1 and part 2 completed one few things i have left here see like there was a one boy in the part 1 willy bounce they used to have thomas john and so james these are the uh, small small uh, names vanda pentroski had a big name like vanda pentroski so that is why see uh, this is unusual for the american children on the other hand there was one american child child whose name was willy bounce which uh, for americans also not good but dada pentros is something which is very laughable for them and this is what one thing i left and i think the rest is that in the in short i have tried to make you understand and uh, if you listen this carefully you will find ki many questions will come and you may be able to answer them if you have listened it carefully uh, thank you very much with this not this video is over if you like my videos share it like it subscribe it and also any any suggestion you what you can write down in the comment box thank you very much